Just gotta cut down the rest of the trees and the area will be clear. I have to clear this too, eventually. I might leave a tree. Because trees give you shelter from the rain as well. But there's still some time. There's still seven days left. Hmm. Let's cut down the surrounding ones first. I'll leave that small tree for now. I guess I'll drop these for now. I'll drop... I have a chest already. Okay, I'll drop this for now. Just drop everything I don't need right now. Oh, I'm going to need seaweed for anti-venom. I just realized that. So hopefully there's a lot of seaweed near this base. Otherwise, I may run into some trouble. Not that I should be getting poisoned anyway. Getting poisoned is a mistake. And you cannot make mistakes. Alright, just clear the rest of these trees for clarity in the area so I can see where I'm going. And then that'll be it. So let's visualize this area for a bit. Uh, soon. Once I clear out these trees. Damn, there are two mushrooms near my base. That's really bad. I guess I could dig them up, but I, I hate digging up mushrooms because they're a constant source of resources. Uh, on the full moon, they become trees, you can chop them down, then they regenerate. Normally, they can you can just pick them and they become a, a filler item for Wigfrid, a food item for everyone else. Does that look good? I think it looks good. Hmm. So I guess the center of the base will be... Jeez, am I really getting rid of the mushrooms? Because the mushrooms are actually where I want to put the center of the base now. I don't want to do that. Like, if possible, I want to avoid doing that. I gotta eat the jerky now. It's gonna go bad. So monkeys... Snakes. Hmm. Center of the base will be about this big, which means there's nothing on this side. That means I can actually move it closer to the center, so it's like this. But if I do that, the mushrooms are here. If I move it left, there are more snake bushes along this side. This is probably the cleanest area I can drop something. Yeah, you can hear the snake bush right ahead of me. So that's not as clean. Hmm. If I put the middle of the base here, these mushrooms will still be in the base, but they're going to be kind of far away. There are no snake bushes, right? I guess this will be the center of my base then. Center here, or maybe where I'm standing. Actually, you know, this was gonna be the original spot. That's why it's a circle around it. Yeah, you know what? I think the middle is fine, just right here. It's fine where I originally planned it to be. I can't spend too much time on this. I just gotta do it. Just do it, right? Stupid video that everyone refers to, just do it. Just do it. Seriously, just do it. Just do it! Ugh! Center of the base! Ugh! 
There we go. Center of the base is always the fire pit. Or should always be the fire pit. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A uh, little up. One, two, three. Five in between. Okay, so this is the center of the base. This is the resource area. This will be the B boxes, either here, here, or here. Probably here. Because there's a lot of bushes, then the snakes and the bees can fight. So bee box is there. What other farms do I need? Monkeys, bees, those are the primary farms. What am I missing in this area? Berries. Berries, I can put them down here, I guess. There's also snakes here, though. If anything, I can just move the snakes, because I don't need that many. Drying racks will be this entire area. Okay, so this entire area is going to be drying racks. How, how am I doing in food? Doing pretty well. Drying racks this side. Chests here. And I guess that's it for now. Drying racks, crock pots, ice boxes, chests, more drying racks, boats. It's going to be at least two boats here. Probably going to be. At least one or two boats there, one or two boats here, one or two boats there in the very end. So that's like a couple hundred days, a couple thousand days. What else? It's going to be a little road. We'll have lanterns along the road. It's going to look beautiful. You can have buoys in this area, in this area leading from island to island, island to island, island to island, another base here. More here, more here. Mm. I guess this will be my combat area. Or maybe this will be my combat area. So if I need to fight the seal NATO, it's going to be there. Um, mangroves. There are actually no mangroves nearby except for here. Summer base. Summer base. I guess it's close enough. Summer I... I have, I have a long time until summer. I'll deal with it later. Tree farm. I guess the tree farm can be down here. No, the tree farm is going to be here. Right. Tree farm is here because I need the boat cannon. I mean, I don't need it, but having the boat cannon there could be useful to destroy them. Uh, if not the boat cannon, I can just use coconades. Either one works, but I think the boat cannon is more efficient now because they, they buffed it a while back. You can see from the Woodlegs playthrough that it's pretty good. Uh, this is a lot of planning, huh? Okay, let's just get down to work then. What was I doing? Chess. Do primary resources with logs, and then we'll move the logs eventually. Secondary resources... Um... Jeez, I don't like this tree here anymore. Plant a tree here. Secondary resource, healing item, logs. Rocks? What goes here? Oh no, logs go here. Then, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Am I out of logs, really? Oh my god. I'm actually out of logs. I need to get more. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. And 
then one, two, three, four, five. Rock type resources, doubloons, seeds, poop, I guess roots. All right, well, the base is shaping up already. It's looking good. Crockpots, uh, I need to burn trees. Let's, lightning rod, I need a lightning rod. Definitely need a lightning rod. I need multiple lightning rods actually. So I'm gonna need a lot of gold. I have a lot of gold here, but I need more. I don't think that's enough actually. That's the scary part. The fact that it's not enough is the scary part. All right, nighttime. Where do I get my trees? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make a tree over there. Let's make a fire over there, I mean. I'm going to head over to the previous island, grab a bunch of stuff, and then come back here. I hope I can grab everything. Honestly, I hope I can grab like the entirety of everything I dropped over there. But there's a high chance that I can't. Let's pre-build this. On clearing the trees. I need to plant them too, otherwise I'll run out of resources. Yeah, I'm gonna plant the trees first and then I'll come back later. Just put them here for now. Okay, that should be good for now. Uh, do I need all this junk? Do I need a hammer? Do I need an axe? I need a shovel for sure. I need a hammer for sure. I need a hammer for this. I need a pitchfork. I can make the pitchfork when I go there. It's too flint. Okay, I'm just gonna bring all this stuff then. Do I need an axe? No, I don't. Do I need logs? Technically, no, I don't. But I'll bring them just in case. I'm paranoid. I've died a lot of times because of Charlie. I think a majority of my deaths in Shipwrecked have been to Charlie. ROG not so much. And ROG is like dying to giants. Uh, dying underground. But in Shipwrecked, it's, it's all about Charlie. Charlie is OP in Shipwrecked. Alright, so one one time I'm going to use this. Last time I'm going to use this going back, so one, two. Uh, and then I will get rid of this stupid raft because I won't use it anymore. It's going to be the armored boat. There's a pretty good chance I need more than two armored boats in the early game even. Hmm. 
I want to be done with this island as soon as possible. Did I forget my shovel? Oh no, I have it. It's on me. That would have been so bad if I forgot the shovel. Oh, whoops! I put the wrong monster meat away. Uh-oh. Rip. Alright. Pitchfork. Okay, I have too many items now. Uh-oh. I have to make another trip, I think. Uh-oh. That's not good. Crap. I shouldn't have carried so much garbage. Well, I guess it's not so much garbage. Half of it is pretty good. Uh, bone shards, bone shards, bone shards. Damn, I should have actually... You know what I should have done? Grab the, the contents from this, put it over there, and then go over here. That was a huge mistake. I guess I'll... Hmm, what do I want to do first? I'll grab the items I can. I need the coral. Uh, I guess I don't need the gem. Yet. Okay, so there's going to be two extra trips, I guess. I could just make the armored boat on the way back, though. So that'll actually mean this thing dies. Do I have enough? Yes, I do, actually. Okay, good. Armored boat time. I need three seaweed. This is two. Hopefully I run into one more up there. I see one. Okay. Uh, so base. Monkeys. Bees. Trees. Farms. That means that over here is going to be where the alchemy engine is going to get dropped. This garbage. This mod is geometric. What's it called? Geometric placement? If you're wondering. People always ask me. You can get it on the Steam Workshop. All it does is create uh, easier plots of land for you to, to make stuff with, to make a base with. It's the only reason I use it. It's the only mod I ever use, because I don't believe that using mods is good. Because sometimes it makes the game too easy, sometimes it doesn't teach you as much about the game, so I just, you know, if you're just going to base build with it, then it's fine. Alright, since there's going to be an obstruction here anyway, I think this is a pretty good spot for the alchemy engine. I'll put it over here a bit, I guess. Alright, first thing on the agenda is rope. One, two, three, armored boat. And then I need snake skin. Where is my snake skin? Snake skin, I need to make a fire. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this turf. Just burn it. Die. What's next? Snake skin sale? What do I need for it? So remember how I grabbed so many resources, like excessively grabbed resources? Well, look at my resources now. I basically have nothing. Put 
those in there for now. Uh, did I bring the... Yes, I did. I brought this, brought this, brought this. So that's going to be the... What do you call it? Anti-venom. I want to build a net as soon as I can. I want to grab spiders and put them on the base as well. So I'm going to put the spiders here, I think. Got some spiders there. I can't move them until they're tier 3. So this is going to be a later plan. This goes here as well. Rocks go there. Actually, I'm going to make something out of it first. Let's pre-build that. I need a lot of grass, damn. I think it's time to pay the mangrove a visit. Oh wait, that's really far away. Never mind. Oh crap. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up stuff from over here then. Uh what's next? Let's figure this out. <laughs> 